Hi there and welcome back to another uh, YouTube video sort of short one today. Um, I just thought I would run you through how I make the decisions on which images to edit once I get back into Lightroom after I've downloaded my images. And I've kind of covered this before in some of the other videos because it's part of my workflow. Um, I'm sure any of you that have tried ICM will find that you come back to your computer and you have hundreds, if not thousands, probably not thousands, but you have hundreds of images from the same location. And it's always a challenge to try and figure out which ones you might like to edit. Now, when you come back from someone, you've got hundreds and hundreds, probably the biggest time point is going to be choosing which ones to edit. And as I said to most people who have only just started, it will come with time. You will get a feel of what you like. Um, I've been photographing ICM now for about six years and probably in the last year or so, I've really got to the point where I can be a bit more decisive about which images I want. But realistically, you've got in front of you one, two, three, four, five, fifteen, sixteen hundred. You've got 19 images in front of you here now. And they're all of almost exactly the same location in the wood. And you'll see the first uh, eight are actually taken with my 50mm lens and the second set below are taken with my 70 to 200 lens, which is why they're slightly darker, because my 50mm only lets me go to f16, whereas my, um, uh, my zoom lens lets me go to f22, so I can knock back the sun a little bit more. So the first ones you see, that was as dark as I could get without using a filter. Anyway, I digress. So we have here 19 images. So we're going to try and make a decision which one ones um, I might like to edit. Now, interestingly, these are all styled one already. So I've actually got rid of a whole load already that I didn't like. <laughs> and I've still got 19 here. So I'm just going to talk you very quickly through and we'll just have a look and see which ones um, we might like to edit. And what I do is I, I quite like having them in this section here because you can go through them and then sort of get with them with stars. As I said, these have all got one stars, which means they're all a possibility. I haven't made a decision yet, but I'm going to have a look. So I'm going to just flick through them all once more just to get a reminder to have a look and see what I've got here, because some will immediately jump out at me that I've kind of forgotten about. And here's just going through. You can really see the difference between the uh, the depth of field on these ones. And some of these you've got full sun and some of these you haven't. Right, we're back to the beginning. So now I'm just going to go through them and just very quickly discuss. This one now I'm looking at and it's very bright and it's very messy. There's so many things I'm going to have to tidy up. So this one's probably not going to go any further. And also it's kind of, you feel a little bit, you know, forced into that. This one's, a, you don't feel like you've got anywhere to walk. You almost feel as though you're already in there. So it, for me, that's not a great picture. That one's slightly better. I like the um, ICM movement on this, but there's a massive chunk here. So I would have to see whether it was possible to pull that back. So I'm just going to give that a two for the minute because it is a slight possibility because I like the movement in that one. This one, um, I find there's even more white in the left hand side and I've lost kind of any detail here. So I'm going to give that one a miss. This one looks really dark now with no sun. Um, I'm finding this one a bit flat, so I'm going to give that one a miss. That one looks a little bit more blurred than ICM to me. This is a personal thing. So again, I'm going to give this a miss. This is me being quite harsh <laughs> and uh, being quite um, you know, hard with myself. This one I quite like, so it's a possibility. I'm not sure about the really bright areas and I'm not sure whether there's actually enough ICM in this one. Now, this one, I've gone on to this one. I actually think I prefer this one to this one. So I'm going to give this one back a one and I'm going to give this a two. Ideally, we're looking for two at the most out of this section here. Um, now, I remember I started playing with um, slightly longer shutter speeds and up down movements in some of these. I quite like this one. I like the light and I like the image. This one's nice, but you can really see the difference between... Um, uh, changing the lens, it, it, you get so much more sort of detail throughout the image. So we're going to give that a two. I definitely prefer this one for the movement because I quite like that it's got little wiggles and it's not too straight. I find these um, movements here a bit too straight within such a lovely woodland. This one's, yeah, it's not enough ICM for me. It's a little bit too dark. I quite like this one because um, all the um, these movements here are quite soft so let's 
give that a two. This one again is the opposite because I'm finding the, the white line is a little bit too harsh, so we'll go over that one. And I think this is the last one, and I quite like this one. So those ones I've gone through now, and I've given them a two if I like them. So at this point, I'll go now and get rid of any of the one images. And we're going to be left again with the ones that I thought got a second chance. And I think I've probably I've still got way too many because really I am only looking for a maximum of two images that have got exactly the same um, subject matter, to be honest. Otherwise, I don't think some of them came through. Oh, well, I wanted that one. Uh, there we go. Right. So now you can see we've got sort of four light ones and three dark ones. So I'm now just going to go through these three and just see which one grabs me most. Certainly not that one now. I'm going to give that, um, yeah, I'm going to leave that at a two, but I'm going to move on because that's not going to make it through. Quite like that one. It's a really tough call. I actually think I prefer, ooh, I think I prefer the softer one, actually. So I'm going to give that a three now. And then we go on to the slightly darker ones. We've got three of these. That one, that one, or that one. Ooh, again, not that one. So I can go in here and take that one out immediately because um, I'm not liking that one. So it's between this one and this one. I quite like the light in this one, but I quite like all the different. I'm going to leave that there for the time being. And then there was the last one here. Um, we might just see what we can do with that. So let's have a look. We now have, we still have four. <laughs> um, Gosh, I'm rubbish at making decisions. This is where I get challenged, you see, because these two are almost exactly the same and these two are almost exactly the same. You can see that they all have the same um, subject matter. So it's just a personal feeling, gut feeling of what you like. You know what? I think I'm going to go with... This is what I do. I sit <laughs> and just play. I don't know. This one's got a little bit more light, but I like the texture. Right, I like the texture in the grasses for this one. So this one's going to get a four now. So of the two of those, that one is going to be the one that I take through. And let's have a look at these two. Yeah, that one stands out for me much better as a composition. This one's a bit dull now with just those two, whereas this one's got details throughout. So we went from 19 and we now have the two that I'm going to edit. So that was just literally a very quick run through real time of me making decisions about which images that I'm going to take forward now and edit. And these are just up straight out of camera. So I've done absolutely nothing with them. And it's just I'm looking for things like um, distractions. Are they too big to correct in um, post processing? I'm looking for composition. Do I need to do any cropping? Can I crop? Have I got the space to do it if I want to? Um, I'm looking for interest throughout, you know, sometimes like I've discussed there, sometimes it just once you start looking at other images, you realise that something is far more interesting. The composition is it more interesting. Um, with ICM, you'll get a feel for the kind of textures you like in your images. And again, some of these I made a decision based on the texture of the grasses or um, the texture of the um, sort of movements of the light within the trees. And then you just get a feel um, as you develop it, things that you'd like to play with going on. You've got to want to, um, you've got to want to look and sort of edit it and play with it. So you've got to kind of be half in love with the image that you're uh, editing to start with. Otherwise, it's very hard to push it further. So anyway, very quick run through um, and I will do a little short possible. Well, I might do. I've already done an edit on some of these. So um, you might see a very short edit on these ones. Um, or you might not. <laughs> anyway, um, enjoy the, the YouTube channel. Uh, give us a like, give us a comment, and um, I will see you next time.